Hello Year 10, I hope everyone is staying safe and staying indoors and being productive. I would like to thank everyone who got in touch with me through Show My Homework to ask for explanations on questions on angles and polygons. So the first one I'm going to do is question number four. Uh, here's the question and I'm going to read it. I've got a regular octagon um, and inside it I've got two identical regular pentagons and I want to work out the size of the angle marked x. I must show all my working so I don't have to explain anything I'm doing um, but I need to show how I'm getting my answers. So um, what's the plan? Because there's always a plan as you know. What I'm thinking of doing is I want to work out one interior angle of the octagon and then I want to take away from it one interior angle of the pentagon, so the red one. And that's going to give me the angle of the triangle. So this one. And I know that this triangle is, um, what do you call it? Um, I suppose this triangle because that side is equal to that one. So then I'm going to use a bit of angles in a triangle. So that is the plan. Uh, let me make a start. So for the octagon, I'm going to do, um, what's the interior angle? So I'm going to use exterior angle um, is equal to 360 divided by the number of sides. So I've got my calculator here, 360 divided by eight, which is the number of sides. So it's 45 degrees and that's the exterior angle. So interior angle is equal to 180 minus 45. Okay, so that's, 135 degrees is one interior angle of the octagon. I'm going to do the same for the pentagon. So I'm going to do 360 divided by number of sides to work out the exterior angle. So 360 divided by 5 is 72 and that's an exterior angle so for interior angle I'm going to do 180 minus 72 uh, my mental mass is telling me that this is 108 and now to work out uh, the triangle, so one of the equal angles of the isosceles triangle. So triangle, ooh, fancy. Um, triangle equal angle. I'm going to do the interior angle of the octagon. So 135, take away 108, which is the interior angle of the pentagon, so 135 minus 108, that's 27. So what that means is that this one here and this one here, they're 27. So to work out my angle X, I'm going to do 180 minus the two 27 degree angles. And I'm going to do that in my calculator. And I'm getting that is 126. And this is it. So hopefully that was okay for you guys. And next question I'll do is question number 10. I will see you later. Bye.